Uh, Joan King, um, good afternoon, Mr. Runcie, school board members and staff and community members. I want to thank you also for this new later time for us to speak our minds and be part of this process without having to take the day off work to be here at noon. I'm now in my 36th year as a Broward County teacher. It saddens me to report to you that many of my fellow colleagues have lost their joy of teaching because of the many demands put on them with too much testing and paperwork. They don't have enough time to teach because they're trying to keep up with the state, district, and school site demands for data via testing. It takes a third to fifth grade teacher on an average two to three days for an hour each day per student to complete the BAS testing for each student. They have to find the independent, instructional, and frustrational levels. All of the th grade three teachers are doing the portfolios, which are also extremely time consuming. Here is the six pages of Broward's testing and Dade's three pages of testing, listing the demands we have put on our educators and our students. We need to cut out unnecessary testing, data, and paperwork now. Some of the administrators don't just have the teachers doing level ones and twos. They're also making them test level threes and fours. Students. I've networked with many Broward teachers across the district who have attended the gifted symposium every year, which is usually a very inspiring activity, but not this year. Why? Because they're all overwhelmed and complaining about the joy and academic freedoms they once had, which are now gone. I was thrilled to be part of helping with our district's teacher shortage with my sixth year of drop extension. Thank you very much, board and Mr. Runcie. But when, when I see my teacher friends, they say to me, if I were you, I would have retired as planned last June and get out of the rat race of teaching in Broward or in Florida schools. This also saddens me because I still feel the joy of teaching science every day. I want my colleagues to have less stress so they too can feel the joy again. To piggyback on what Dr. Trudy was saying, her comments about before the hurricane, I was sorry that I could not attend your meeting on Wednesday, October 5th at noon to see and hear Mr. Runcie's annual evaluation that you all did. But I did make copies of everything in the comments. What really struck me was when Robin Bartleman gave him a 2.0, meaning he needs improvement in leadership and management. Her comment that the morale... I, I'm sorry. Thank you. Your time is up. Oh, 